Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, Strawberry Jam here, bringing you another episode of Minecraft here on the Strawberry Jam channel today. Hopefully, you guys are all doing great. And hopefully, you guys are all excited for my top five Minecraft mods that should be added to Minecraft. With my just over seven years of experience of playing this game and, and probably about half a decade of playing with Minecraft mods and especially playing the mod pack that I'm on right now. Uh, cheap plug, you guys should check out my Boundless series if you aren't familiar with that. I've had a lot of thought recently about the future of Minecraft and what could possibly be added to the game uh, that's already in the modding community to, you know, to sort of further the game and make it a, a better game for us all to enjoy. Now, this list isn't really going to be like straight up like, oh, we need this mod, this mod, and this mod. I'm going to be sort of like pulling certain things from certain mods and, and taking a look at them and sort of rambling about what aspects of them should be added to the game and how they'll fit and how it will uh, increase the benefit of vanilla minecraft so uh yeah enough blabbering let's uh let's get into this so starting out the first one is gonna be a very simple one and uh everyone's probably gonna hate me for this and i kind of hate myself for this because this is just the most mediocre possible choice i could have had but you can probably see that i'm in such a beautiful biome there's lavender everywhere there's purple trees <laughs> Oh, it even smells nice as well. And the mod that you're seeing right here is the Biomes of Plenty mod. And it's been a solid couple of years since we uh, had our last, like, biome overhaul with Minecraft. And I don't necessarily think Minecraft's due for another biome overhaul, but come on, Mojang. Like, how many updates have we had and we haven't had a new biome, dude? Just, like, come on, add one. Biomes of Plenty adds a whole array of biomes. It gets a little bit extreme with some of them, but I feel like some of them would fit very well in the current version of Minecraft that we have. And they don't even need to be something that's super common. We could add some of these biomes and they could be a, a 1 in 100 chance, 1 in 1,000 chance of spawning. And I think adding some sort of rarity into the mix of biome generation would provoke exploration and also make that achievement to uh, explore every single biome just a little bit harder to get. Anyway, moving on to our next mod. This one is actually from Open Blocks, and it is the Open Blocks Elevator. I think this is actually in a standalone mod of its own, so I guess we'll just say Open Blocks Elevator or, or ele Elevator or, or something. Now, currently in Minecraft, the only way we have to move up and down is is, you know, the good old faithful stairs or the ladders or, you know, you can use like boats or, or mine carts or, you know, some some trippy stuff like that. But I think these elevators would, would be simple enough and, and work well enough with the current version of Minecraft we have. They don't necessarily have to be crafted the same way as in the mod, like an ender pearl and eight pieces of wool. Because I mean, this is a little bit, because this is a little bit too simple for, for what it does and what it would do in vanilla Minecraft. But you could lock these behind something crazy like, like the end city. You can make them hard to get or craft or to come by. You could make them use some sort of fuel. Maybe you have to load them up with ender pearls. Maybe they suck XP from your character character and you know that'll be another way to like sync xp from the game not just from enchanting i feel like there's a wide array of ways you could add these to the game and and also balance them and also just like this sounds pretty cool isn't it like it, it, it's awesome anyway moving on to number three we have a uh, tinker's construct but this isn't really focusing on you know the whole main like tool building aspect of tinker's construct what i'm talking about in tinker's construct is all these cool weapons and tools and 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 stuff you can get since mojang changed the combat system in minecraft i eagerly awaited uh you know more weapons to be added the axe sort of turned into a weapon but like who, who uses an axe over a sword adding a new type of range weapon either like a crossbow this one locks in the arrow and then like as soon as you want to shoot it you can go bam and like let, let it go and then with the longbow it takes a little bit longer to draw it back but of course you can send arrows like flying forever as far as melee weapons there's quite a few things you can do i mean this cleaver is like a very like heavy and slow weapon so it would just like obliterate anything. I feel like that's what Mojang sort of tried to do with the axe, but like it, it really doesn't work. You can add something like a rapier where if you right click it, you like jump back and then, you know, you can swing real quick and, you know, get some quick hits in there. I think adding a weapon where you can sort of just spam it like the old days would be would be awesome. I mean, you can just spam this thing and it obliterates whatever's in front of it, but obviously it doesn't do as much damage as, you know, a regular sword. And then also in the inventory, I have the hammer and the uh, lumber's axe. The lumber's axe obliterates a tree in like one swing. I think I picked out like the most overpowered like lumber axe in the entire game. Wouldn't necessarily be that OP, but you know, it takes down down the tree in one swing and then the hammer mines in a three by three so you can sort of you know tunnel with it and all sorts of cool stuff and if stuff like this gets added i don't think it necessarily should be craftable i think they should be locked behind dungeons i feel like you should have to go out and you know either explore the end or you know just regular minecraft dungeons and these have very rare chances of spawning you can even go as far as making it so just pieces of them spawn in the dungeon in tinker's construct each item takes a bunch of different pieces to build so you can make all these pieces like a certain rarity to come by or like the 
the same amount of rarity and then once you've explored a bunch of dungeons and built up a, a small collection of these pieces you can sort of piece them together and see what you can make with them so you might come across like a binding uh, a tool rod and let's say a broad axe head and then you're like oh i have these three pieces let's put them together in my crafting table and boom i get myself a lumber rack i think anything that adds more end game content and more incentive to explore dungeons and stuff because i don't want to be rude about dungeons right now but what is the incentive to look in those oh i found an enchanted book wow i think adding new tools and weapons that are locked behind dungeons would just be awesome and if a place you don't play survival i think it'll be a little cool mix up for the uh the the new pvp style because uh that didn't really catch on too well didn't it moving on to number four we have the mine colonies mod now this is another one where i'm not gonna say hey let's put this whole mod into minecraft because it's a pretty hefty mod and i don't think it'll fit too well into vanilla but i think the aspect of working with villagers to not only progress your game but also progress their like village themselves i feel like it would fit so well i mean like test certificates are just so useless and, and so defenseless i think having your character come in and the test certificate seeing you as sort of like like, oh my god this is this one's intelligent let's follow him he's he's our new leader and giving them the ability to learn how to mine and and farm resources and and build it would give the test certificates more of a use rather than just you know raiding their villages and you know scamming them and and using them to to get yourself some some free food i think it would work well and i think it's something that shouldn't be easy to do like i feel like it should be a tedious task and i feel like the test certificates should have to go through something to be able to gain the ability to do this maybe they need to be in infected by a zombie and you need to uninfect them and once they're uninfected they have more strength maybe their arms aren't stuck together anymore they can actually hold a pickaxe and do something useful it'd be cool to see like oh shoot i got turned into a zombie now i need to build a wall around my whole village so i don't get these guys turned into zombies i think something like that would work pretty well also at endgame minecraft you have built up so many resources and so many supplies and if it's just you playing what's the point of it given the test certificates the ability to use pickaxes swords armor all that junk would be a good use for like all your extra resources and stuff but would also just you know give you more stuff to do at endgame anyway coming in lucky last the final one y'all probably guessed it uh is the aether this mod's been around longer than i've been playing this game and it just fits so well if you understand what's going on this is basically the opposite to the nether so we are above the overworld right now if i fall down here and uh you know go through the clouds we'll go to a dirt screen and then when we load back in ah we're falling to our death into the overworld ah <laughs> which is like I, it's so cool it's so awesome I, I dig that so much with the nether you sort of just get to the top of the nether and you're like oh there's there's bedrock in the way that's a shame i feel like they could fit the aether into current minecraft very well they can make it to the blocks to craft the portal or found in the end they can make it so they're also hard to come by you know something like that of course with the elytra being added to minecraft the elytra would be a good addition because you know if you're flying around with your elytra and you dip through the clouds and you go back to the overworld you're not gonna fall to your death it would be nice having a sky dimension in minecraft that isn't absolutely terrifying like the end well i mean i guess it depends on what type of person you are some people might find this terrifying i mean that's like a floating whale over there i don't i don't really know what that is but i think adding something like this to vanilla minecraft works so well because you're adding something that's a completely different dimension so it doesn't mess with anything that's down there you can make it end game so it doesn't mess with the current you know flow of minecraft how you know you go underground you mine some stuff you go to the nether you get some stuff you go to the end and then you've beaten the game like i said you can make this come after the end and it would add more mobs dungeons and you know just stuff to do after you kill the ender dragon back when notch was working on minecraft he wanted to add more dragons to the game isn't this just a perfect place to have more dragons they could incorporate some sort of law where this is a make-believe reality and if you take anything from this world to the to the overworld it just disappears because it doesn't actually exist they could make it so just certain things that you find in dungeons like oh well, you know what i was talking about before rare weapons and other sorts of you know weaponry tools and stuff maybe you can only bring that back maybe the weaponry and tools and stuff that you find in dungeons are uh, like ender items and you can only bring ender items back into the overworld and anything else that's in this world doesn't exist i mean mojang could do a whole lot to make vanilla minecraft a whole new experience but at the end of the day i'm just a little fanboy and it's probably never gonna happen and uh with that said thanks for watching guys